But later on, again, there's another actually very moving passage, um, I, which just shows us um, part of a portrait of something we don't often see, which is Marjorie Kemp looking after her old and infirm husband. We don't know what age her husband was, um, but he was probably a little bit older than her. And the book describes how when he was over 60 years old, he was coming down the stairs um, and he lost his footing and fell to the ground and banged his head and split his head open. And it describes how he had to have five linen plugs in his wound for his head to heal. And um, following this, when Kemp and her husband had been living apart to prove that they were chaste, she then goes home. She took her husband home with her and looked after him for years afterwards, as long as he lived. And then I think this is a really quite striking passage, very moving, intimate portrait. She says, She had a great deal of labour with him, for in his last days he turned childish and lost his reason, so that he could not, or else he would not, go to the toilet to relieve himself. But like a child, he voided his bowels and his linen, as he sat by the fire or at the table, wherever it was, he would spend nowhere. And therefore her labour was much the greater for washing and wringing and the expenses of keeping a fire. And this, the, this impeded her very much from her contemplation, so that often she would have hated her labours, but she thought to herself how she had, in her youth, had many delectable thoughts, fleshly lusts and excessive desire for his body. And in that passage we see the entire span of a marriage from her having sex with him when she was a young woman and wanting his body to her wiping him after he's soiled his linens as an old man. And that is a really fascinating, very penetrating portrait of what her lot was um, in the mid-15th century. And we don't often see somebody describing how an elderly wife looked after her husband um, in his dotage.